Every major company, tech investors, and even some governments are betting everything on AI. The amazing things they can reason. We're just at the beginning of the reasoning AI era. Smarter models, sharper intuition, super intelligence, fueling explosive new demand for compute, billions poured into chips, data centers, and reasoning models. The amount of computation necessary to do that reasoning process is 100 times more than what we used to do. But what if it's all been overpromised? Is the AI actually getting smarter? What if it's all built on an illusion? New research is casting doubt on the hype. When problems get hard enough, reasoning models stop working. They're not thinking, they're pattern matching. It's the fourth industrial revolution, the era of large language models. Every week brings a new AI tool, a new headline, a new valuation bump. A 2025 was supposed to be the year of reasoning, the next supposed leap towards superintelligence. Forget chatbots these models think, break problems into steps and even reflect like humans. Thinking requires multiple plans, reflection, chain of thought, just like us. And thinking requires us to maybe do multi-plans, multiple potential answers that we choose the best one from, just like when we're thinking. We might reflect on the answer before we deliver the answer. Reflection. We might take a problem and break it down into step-by-step-by-step. -by -step -by -step. Chain of thought. OpenEye, Google, DeepSeek all raced to sell this dream, each claiming exceptional reasoning capabilities, each promising to be the most powerful yet. But several research papers are starting to challenge that promise suggesting that beneath the hype lies a kind of fragmented intelligence. It performs well in controlled tests, but often breaks down in the real world. Apple's bombshell paper, The Illusion of Thinking. Their test? The Towers of Hanoi, a simple logic puzzle that toddlers solve. With three disks, AI aces it. At seven disks, zero accuracy. Not just Apple AI, OpenAI, DeepSeek and Anthropic all failed. The same thing happened with other puzzle games like Checkers and River Crossing Problems. These are basic logic games. It's not just Apple. Anthropic, the company behind one of the most advanced reasoning models, raised concerns in a recent paper titled Reasoning Models Don't Always Say What They Think. Salesforce describes the issue as jagged intelligence, highlighting a significant gap between what current large language models can do and what real-world enterprises actually need and the Chinese research lab leap found that today's AI training methods still fall short of producing genuinely novel reasoning abilities. Why? These models don't reason. They memorize patterns from training data, throw them something new, collapse. Here's the blind spot. Today's AI is a benchmark wizard, not a thinker. It solves SAT questions but can't adapt to novel challenges. It's memorization at scale, like a student who aces practice tests but flunks the final, in other words, these models aren't just limited, they struggle to generalize. They learn to perform well on the kinds of tests they've seen before, but fall short when confronted with real-world challenges. That might be enough for now. Specialized AI built for narrow tasks or designed to beat benchmarks. But that's not the end game. The real goal is superintelligence, a system that can reason, adapt, and think beyond its training, a system that's smarter than us. Training methods can't spark true reasoning, and without generalization, enterprises waste billions. If AI can't generalize, you retrain it for every task. That's not revolution. That's rinse and repeat. So is the industry pursuing the wrong kind of intelligence? And if so, what are the implications for investors and the AI boom as a whole? The stakes? Astronomical. Reasoning was meant to justify a compute explosion. NVIDIA's next $10 trillion bet. But if scaling fails... Jensen Huang himself has said that reasoning models need 100 times more computation. Yet Apple's paper triggered a 2025 market correction. Why? Because scaling laws, the bedrock of AI, are breaking. The AI industry is built on a simple idea. Scale works. The bigger the model, the more data it's fed, the smarter it gets. It's what experts call the scaling law. But if that's no longer working, it could make investors question their return on AI spend. Major players like Google, OpenAI, and Anthropic have led the charge, but corporate America is now betting big on AI too. Since the start of this year, AI adoption among businesses has surged, driven by the belief that the technology will transform and revolutionize their operations, even if, as JP Morgan CEO Jamie Dimon admits, the benefit isn't immediately clear. And that's why Apple's white paper hit like a splash of cold water. Some saw the warnings as Apple moving the goalposts, shifting the narrative because it's playing catch-up.
The paper argued that LLMs and reasoning aren't really working, and to be fair, it wasn't wrong about the challenges, but releasing that paper right before a WWDC that barely addressed the failure of Apple AI to deliver true intelligence? It came off more like a distraction tactic from a company that seems uncertain, while the rest of their competitors are out building humanoid robots, constructing massive data centers, and investing in the hardware and infrastructure of the future. Anthropic responded with a follow-up paper titled The Illusion of the Illusion of Thinking, challenging some of the technical methods Apple used to run those logic puzzles. But the growing chorus of researchers sounding the alarm is hard to ignore. They're shaping a new and perhaps more sobering narrative, that we're still far from building models with real intelligence. And that might be the biggest curveball yet, casting doubt on just how soon or even whether we'll reach artificial general intelligence or AGI. So where does this leave us? Chasing benchmarks, not brilliance. Building narrow tools, not minds. We're in a Cambrian explosion of AI, but evolution isn't linear. True reasoning, it's not about scale, it's about reinvention. We must question the hype or risk a trillion-dollar bubble. Reasoning was AI's promised leap forward. Instead, it's the mirror showing us how far we still have to go. Drop your thought in the comment below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.